and right now in this video we're gonna learn how we can create a grid line for ourselves right here so to do this here from file and then new in this way and then annotation symbol and after that you should specify or select your template file in the list of annotation symbol so select metric grid head and then open it in this way to open the template file of the grids in this way as you can see here you got the guideline and here as you can see you got some explanations for example the first line is about the intersection which you can see center grid label at the intersection of reference planes actually here the intersection and then you can see grid line will trim to max width of drawn elements and after that is the dummy line shows orientation of system grid lines and then the last line which is delete this note and dummy line before using so i select these notes the note or explanation and the dummy line to delete them in this way look and then from create and then from the let me see um line and for example suppose that i pick the circle and the and five as radius i sketch another circle and 4.5 for the radius in this way and after that and then i use field region and after that pick line i click on these two lines but first of all i invisible lines I make them invisible finish this is the result and after that I select them I open a type I make a duplicate and then I name it out I select the fill pattern solid but I specify the color for example in pantoon color picker I set for example 185 uh, wait for a second 186 or 85 mm, 86 88 and then I press click on OK OK and OK <coughs> and then again I s select field region I set it on invisible line and then pick lines interior edge and then finish and then I select all around the circles <coughs> and then I open a type duplicate I name it in in the, the interior and then I specify the color in Pantone color picture for instance this time i want to specify a uh, an lighter color for example 184 <coughs> and then okay in this way after that from create label and then i click at the center of the circle then in edit label i add a name new name and then i check wrap between parameters only apply on ok I select the name wrap between parameters only should be checked and then I open a type duplicate and then I name it for example T1 and then I change the back the background to trans transparent I specify white for the color and the text size 2 millimeters and then ok in this way I minimize it in this way in this but actually here since I have a specified a text I mean the color white and the background is white itself uh, it is shown black so I modify the color 254 44 and ok to make sure that the text will be shown in white I save it and then I specify the path in the path which I'm saving the movies I think I made a mistake but no matter I specify the path for the name of the file actually anyway I close it let me fix the name of the file um, apologize me let me close the file again so I select it and then rename I name it for example IR dash space dash and then grids 
and then I drag it into files here it is IR dash grids so I open it to make sure and then I load it into project workspace but I don't close the template so I select the symbols and then in edit type I make a duplicate suppose that I name it GS grid dash one dash 100 I mean one person for this scale and then I specify the type of the symbol from here IR dash grids check this out so as you can see we made our symbol uh, here let me delete these dimensions I applied it the new symbol for others well according to the construction we have here we succeed to create a special grid for ourselves but in the next video I will explain an, an interesting technique for you